All right, we got some news today. Capital One, the third largest credit card issuer in the United States has cut credit limits. Now, why is this troubling? Capital One, even though it's the third largest credit card issuing company in America, Capital One bathes in the subprime market. Capital One is the number one card for repairing your credit because depending upon your credit score, they will give you a card with up to a $2,500 limit with no security to deposit. Capital One has tremendous experience in the subprime market and Capital One's predictive software says things are about to get worse. I want you to think about that. Capital One has been in the subprime market. I remember there was this guy, Mr. Washington, I believe, on the credit boards that essentially you can have the most jacked up, tore up credit and Capital One would give you a credit card. So Capital One has a history of living, making money, and dealing very well with the subprime credit market. And for Capital One, with their extensive experience in the subprime credit market, for them to start cutting people's credit limits across the board is a sign that all hell is breaking loose. 2021 is about to be bad. We're about to be into September next week. We're going to start getting cold. We're going to start seeing some other stuff. A lot of these forbearance uh, things are about to run out. Evictions have run out. Unemployment, even if the Democrats, because let me go ahead and give you a political calculus. If the Democrats win the House, the Senate, and the presidency, then we will have, I'll start doing stimulus videos every day because there will be stimulus packages are coming. But if they don't win the Senate and the presidency, we're gonna have more of what we have. Right now, we have unemployment of over a million people a week are filing for unemployment, which is higher than what was happening during the Great Recession. So even though we had this serious uh, pandemic thing, unemployment is still ramping up because corporations at first, the first round of layoffs were due to the Rona. The second round of layoffs to do the corporations becoming more efficient and figuring out that they can make money without you. So we're about to enter into a crazy, crazy time because one of the things that's going to happen, high unemployment is going to be a damper on many businesses. And it is reported that 40% of the restaurants in New York have closed permanently. Let me say this again, 40% of the restaurants in New York City and many smaller restaurants across the country have closed their doors forever. 2021 is going to be a bear. It's going to be rough. It's going to be crazy because I'm just looking at it because this news with Capital One, for Capital One to be cut, you know, American Express, this is something American Express routinely does. They go through these phases where they start asking for financial reviews, pulling people's information in, and Chase Bank, they also do it. But for Capital One to be cutting credit card limits with the information they have about the subprime market is scary. It is scary because Capital One literally swims in the subprime market. Capital One has subprime products and they have prime products and they're cutting credit limits across the board. I've had um, some consulting calls with someone who had a few Capital One products and he says, regardless of what I do, my credit score is good. They will not give me a credit limit increase. What can I do? I say, you're gonna have to apply at a credit union or you're gonna have to apply at another bank because right now, all the big boys, they're shaking. American Express is shivering. Chase is shivering. Now Capital One is shivering and they're, like this is why at Savage Finance, I preach that you need to have some cash reserves. Because if you are going, I was watching the video this morning, Jay Bravo, he's a guy, he comes up in the chair and he does all that. He was saying during the last recession, he had a line of credit for a bank. And when he went to use it, the bank has said, ha, give me that line of credit back. So once again, 
I urge you guys to have a long-term emergency fund in cash, a short-term emergency fund in cash, and a family operating account because we are in an environment when you go to use your credit, it may not be there. Let me say that again. You go to use your credit, it may not be there because uh, I had another consultant call where all of his credit cards got slashed because he was using them. He had high utilization and they just slashed his credit cards to where he was already maxed out. So he know, he now has no available credit. And he said, my credit score dropped 120 points. Look, you need to have some cash, man. You need to build a financial device. You need to get you some stuff going. This, you, you think this year was rough? 2021 is going to be rough because what I predict is around this time next year is when a vaccine is going to come out. So we've got another year of this, another year of this. And also, I feel that the real estate market, because I had one yard bird talking smackety smack because he's not reading the tea meetings because I'm getting into the real estate market in 2021 because so many people have taken real estate off the market that the people who are selling, the, the, the prices are skyrocketing and it's, it's kind of hard for people to get a good deal on the house. So in 2021, I feel that that's going to disappear. I feel that a lot of these people who made the mistake of doing the forbearance, they're going to be in trouble. And I feel that there will be deals all abound in 2021. And that's when I'm going to pull the rip cord. That's when I'm going to get my first rental property. Now let's talk about this. Cause I got some people like when I talk about rental property, people talk about like, how come you don't have no rentals? I'm about to say the rentals are a retirement plan strategy. What do I have? I have Hustlers Kung Fu. I have Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. I have Disruptive Mail. I have B-School for Hustlers. Now I've got the Financial Self-Defense School. I'm probably not going to continue with that. I'm going to move everything to B-School for Hustlers. Then I have Savage Finance. Then I've got the, the Disruptive Mail. Then I've got the Mindset Coach and Digital Money that will, those two are not making any money, but I have seven income streams. I have seven income streams. I bought a Porsche at the end of, at the beginning of this month. The money I spent on the Porsche, I've almost have it all back. I spent $9,000 on the Porsche and I almost have it back. So I'm not worried from a, or, you know, I have people say, well, you spent $90,000 on the car. You should have invested it. Let me go ahead and explain the game to you. I am a active income earner. The way that I'm setting up my holding company and the plans I have, I don't really care about tax deferred because of the holding company strategy that I'm about to deploy. I don't have to worry about taxes for years. And when I do have to worry about taxes, they will be lower because they will be capital gains tax or they will be off in a lower tax bracket. I don't even worry about that because active income kicks passive income in the booty all day long, all day long. So you got to understand when you're talking to me, you need to look up because that's where I'm at. I'm up. I'm not on the same level as you are. I don't need a 401k. I don't need because what because see here's uh, Dave Ramsey is my idol. Dave Ramsey has a net worth of $55 million for spewing the same financial advice over and over and over. I'm getting ready to do the same thing at Savage Finance with a twist. The do more principle, start a business, start a side hustle, 50,000 corporate citizens. That's going to be project. I'm going to do a live stream about that tomorrow. I'm on a whole different plan. I'm on a whole different thing. So when I spend $90,000 on the depreciating asset with my financial knowledge in the video, I was like, if you're going to spend money on the depreciating asset, you need to have financial devices to offset that depreciation. I'm not playing the game like you. I'm playing fifth dimensional chess. I'm playing fifth dimensional corporate chess. 
I've just moved everything around. Moved everything over to this new holding company. I'm moving every courses. I'm moving the YouTube channels. I'm, move, I'm moving everything around. Because I, as a corporate citizen, can do that. I get to decide when and how much I pay on taxes. Do, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm not living a normal life. I'm not living a regular life. The X5, I paid cash for that. And the Porsche, I paid cash for that. And the next new car, I'm going to pay cash for that. I've got people on Savage Finance talking about, well, I would not pay cash. Because you can't pay cash. It ain't like you have the option. You can't do it. Like, well, if it was me, I would. You can't do it. You cannot let 90 G's go and still have hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. You can't do it. Stop. Just stop it. Once again, 50,000 corporate citizens. That is the goal over the next five years. If I can bring 10,000 people into the life each year and get them crunk and get them shiny and wash their little ears out and get them in the corporate life, get them a corporate citizen, get them a holding company, get them some subsidiaries, and then they can go ahead and play the money game like Apple and Google and Amazon and GE. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We about to be cooking with gas because you just heard what I said. Capital One, which bathes in the subprime markets, is cutting credit limits. That is very, very telling of what's to come. Capital One has data upon data of the subprime market. They have data, they know what's coming. This is why they're cutting limits, cutting limits, cutting limits. And I'm here to tell you, 2021 is gonna be rough. Even if the Democrats get in office, even if the Democrats start a stimulus check printing machine, it's gonna be rough because there's the forces, because look at the stimulus that happened. Did this stop all these restaurants from closing? Did this stop all these businesses from closing? Did it stop all these people from filing forbearance? No, it did not. It's going to bunt the pain a little bit, but many bad things are gonna happen in 2021. So join me in becoming a corporate citizen. The link is below. You can do a payment plan, or you can do a one-time payment. And for the, from now until the end of September, I am doing a founder special because after September, this is my intention is to turn this into a monthly subscription. So go ahead, come to the plantation where we where we we sipping sweet tea, and we sitting on the porch enjoying that cool summer breeze because we're corporate citizens. We walk in with our white pants, a white jacket and a straw hat because we fancy up in here. We fancy because we're not like right now. My heart goes out to you if you're one of these poor people who've been massively impacted by the Rona and layoffs and the reductions in salary. I was talking to a friend. She said her company has reduced everyone's salary by 25 percent. And these folks were making six figures. That's 25 to $50,000, snipe, snipe. I mean, it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. But there's opportunity for those who want to deploy to do more principal, for those who wanna roll up their sleeves, get to work, get down in the mud and the dirt and stuff and start kicking ass, there's opportunity. So the links below, join me to become a corporate citizen. I will see you guys in the next stimulus check update, uh, which I say as a jest, because I don't see the point in sitting around doing a stimulus check update video each and every day when they're not even in session. And like I said in my live streams, that I figured that they were gonna push this off to September. It is the end of August, no stimulus checks. Congress is not in session. They will be in session in September. And even with that, there still may not be a second stimulus check. America, 
you need to create your own stimulus check. So once again, links below, become a corporate citizen, and I'll see you guys in the next video.